And I don't just say that to anyone. Well, to anyone who doesn't look like me. So let's give Will Smith his due. He did a great service for the Oscars because if he hadn't slapped Chris Rock, the talk would have been how crappy and boring the show was yet again. I was slapping myself to stay awake. Without Will turning it into Palm Sunday, the rest of the show was one long in memoriam. You also didn't hear about their goodie bags, not to be confused with the D bags in the seats. Each swag bag contained more than 140 grand worth of crap, including free liposuction. Yeah, free liposuction, because Hollywood stars can't afford to get their own fat sucked out of their bodies. Hell, I'd do it for free. I'll bring my own straw. <laughs> I don't know what that means. The gifts also included an all-expenses-paid trip to Scotland with a three-night stay at a fancy castle, free construction for a home renovation, a four-night visit to a luxury spa, and a plot of land in the UK with a noble title. Great. How does Sir and Lady Douchelot sound? And here you thought celebrities are a bunch of elitists. Really, they're just like you and me. I mean, who doesn't get offered free plots of land for films that are worse than the one on my tongue when I wake up in the morning? But I don't mind them getting free trips around the world. I'd just rather they didn't come back. But even though the stars can pay for all that crap, they still need the free stuff. It's for their ego. It's an offering to the gods. Except the, these gods have lip implants. And of course, thanks to Will Smith, we also didn't get to talk about how truly lame this was. Well, we're going to have a great night uh, tonight. And for you people in Florida, we're going to have a gay night. Gay, 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 Only the Oscars can make gay boring and tedious. Because the Oscars are no longer about entertainment, but diversity for the sake of diversity. But then they make diversity truly boring by making it painfully contrived. Their propaganda films with famous actors and music score lights, makeup, and wardrobe are worse. They're as heavy-handed as Big Ben. The virtue signaling... <laughs> Thank you. Some people didn't get that joke. The virtue signaling has descended into the purely infantile, like a juice box with a rainbow on it. As wokeism spreads, the movies shrink and splinter into morose attempts at identity politic fantasy. They aren't movies, just messages with all the depth of a coexist bumper sticker. It's no wonder they had the second worst rating ever, and it would have been the worst if everyone hadn't immediately texted their friends about the slap. You know, if they're smart, next year, they'll have Kanye West and Pete Davidson co-host. Hell, make fisticuffs a regular part of the show. At least give us a steel cage match for the best supporting actor. But like my hairline, it's only going to get worse. <laughs> According to LA Magazine, starting in 2024, producers must submit a list of the race, gender, sexual orientation, and disability status of members of their cast and crew. If a movie does not have enough of the right people on set, that movie won't be eligible for, for an Oscar. Now, put aside that this is already a tremendous invasion of privacy, the criteria for winning Best Picture no longer includes being the best picture. It means checking off items from a menu. Imagine if that existed before and what it would do to our classics. The Godfather is now the Godmother because Vito is transitioning. <laughs> Jaws would have been an evil white man instead of a shark. And don't get me started with three men who identify as a baby. <laughs> it's pathetic. You scream racism at the Oscars and you can get them to do anything, including ditching quality for quotas. You wouldn't want that process to decide who fixed your car or who removed your spleen. But the folks who run Hollywood would. Imagine how this is going to play out in a couple of years. All right, my picture. Now, we can probably eliminate most of this crap. Uh, did anybody see the George Washington biopic? Too white. Okay, how about the Trotters movie? Too ableist. Okay. Three. Way too straight. Heard that. Not straight enough. There's this video of a cat scared by a toaster. <laughs> ah, well, hey, that's your best picture winner right there. <laughs>